Stop using these words in daily English conversation. Without wasting time, let's get going. The first word is literally and before I tell you why you should stop using it at the wrong places, I just want to remind you that if you are a new visitor to this page, then I upload videos quite often and you will find a lot of content on my page related to different fields like English, vocabulary, interviews, study tips, etc. So if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe and share my videos with your friends or family if you find them useful. Now the first one is literally and Literally actually means literally means in the truest sense. For example, if you say I literally died that day. Now that means that you actually died. Okay. So, so instead of saying I literally died, whereas you're still alive, you could say I almost died or I almost had a heart attack hearing that news. So some words that you can use in place of literally are actually or truly or genuinely. The next word is like. And like is like a crutch word or a filler word. This is a word that most of us use when we do not know how to complete our sentence and then we keep saying, you know, like I went to that restaurant and like we had a nice time and like it was good and this and that. So you use like, like, like to start every single sentence without observing how you're speaking. So the next time you find yourself using like a lot of times, Try to stop yourself and maybe you can do some exercises like counting how many times you're saying like on a phone call and then you will realize that you often use it in your speech. I don't want to give you any replacement for the word like because there's no replacement for this word. So the best replacement is to remove it from your sentences. The next word is be or boo. Now I know a lot of us use this on our social media status updates and say that out with my bae or out with my boo but if you are in high school or in school that's okay. If you are a working professional or if you are someone who is already married then try not to use these words like bae or boo because they are too childish and sometimes may also look cheesy. So you can obviously replace the words like bae or boo with some better words like my better half or my partner or my husband or wife to be simple and look sophisticated in your speech. The next word is I was just wondering or I just wanted to tell you something. Now here you're using the word just in your sentences and this is again a repetition and a word that is actually not required in your sentence. Because when you put this word, you're trying to undermine the meaning of what you're saying. You're trying to make your sentence look weaker rather than st sounding strong and confident. So try not to use the word just. There's again no replacement for this word and it is better to get rid of this word from your vocabulary. I know it's hard, but just give it a try. The next two words are the extremes. Always and never. Try not to use them in your speech when you actually don't intend to say them. For example, if your boyfriend or your husband doesn't say I love you to you quite often and in a frustrated mood you tell him that you never tell me that you love me. Okay, now the rare occasions on which he would have actually gathered strength to say that he loves you, he feels that you do not even appreciate those moments. So be intentional when you actually use these words always and never. Try not to use them when you actually don't mean them. Okay. Next word is very and we very often use this word in our speech regularly and that is because sometimes we are short of our vocabulary or we do not know enough words to replace very. For example, when you want to say that somebody is very rich, you could say that that person is wealthy or if you want to say that I was very scared after watching that film, you could say I was petrified. So there are a lot of replacements of very words with some better words and better vocabulary. If you want to take a look at them, do visit my Instagram page because I have a strong community of almost 70,000 friends on Instagram and if you want to join them, you will learn a lot because every single day I post at least two or three posts for you all to learn. Last one is I can't and I'm not saying that the usage here is wrong of I and can't together. No, it's not incorrect but it tells the others that you're not capable of doing something. So when there are situations when you actually do not, do not want to do something, you cannot say that I can't do it because that tells the person that you're not 
able enough to do it or to perform that activity instead you can replace the words i can't with i won't now this is stronger and may need some time for you to develop and make it a part of your daily speech or conversation but it will definitely tell the other person that you are taking the decision of not doing something and hence saying i won't is more powerful than i can't where you are actually giving away your superiority or your rights to somebody else by saying that you're not capable of doing it and i can't can be replaced with i won't especially if you're a working professional and you feel that you've been given orders by the others be it your colleagues or your boss and you really really want to seek a work life balance and say somebody from your team asks you to stay back after work for a lot of days at a stretch and then there's a time where you want to really say that sorry it is not today that i will be able to wait back after work so there instead of saying i can't say that i won't wait to work after office today so guys these were the few words that i want you to replace from your daily english conversation really pay attention to these words because a lot of us keep using these words in our speech and not just you even i make the mistake of using some of them and then it is better to realize the mistake and make corrections to it and make your speech sound better so if you like today's video do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every single time i'm posting a new video also if you think that today's video has been really helpful do share it with your family and friends over whatsapp or over some other social media platforms until i see you next bye bye